Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Journey. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the continuation of the Dream Realm. So overall, we are in the Sky, so si Sky Clops, Sky Clops. Um, and we're gonna go in here. I did my initial run, so we killed him out the first time. Now, of course, we're gonna look at the best heroes that are within this game mode, but overall, this is going to be very important on what heroes you have. We've said this before, when you look at the AoE damage in here, you can see Cecilia's in here, Maria's in here, and then of course the healing within this boss. Now we did kill the boss out the first time, so we got past the common, and this is the team that I am using in here, and this team works exceptionally well. Now, one of the heroes that I absolutely underrated is right here, guys, um, which is Corrin. So most players have said when you're building out Corrin, you want him and you want him very strong. He is skilled at dealing high damage to ranged enemies. So when the ads actually come in, you'll see Corrin do a lot of damage to them. Now, overall, players have said to buy copies of Corrin and Odie out of the guild shop, or excuse me, out of the um the the dream realm or the, the dream shop that's in there. I forget exactly what the name of it is, but overall, this is a hero that I hadn't really been focused on. I hadn't been building because I had been building Odie. Now, of course, Odie, when it comes to this game mode, pretty much every single battle he is used in here somewhere, which works incredibly well. Then looking in here, we have Smokey. Smokey is another one who, when it comes to the boss modes, when it comes to this specific game mode, does incredibly well as long as you can get him positioned to have that aura and make sure that heroes are getting healed. And another one that I kind of underestimated as well as Marley. So this one, the defense marksman who is better positioned farther from enemies. So of course, you'll actually see her move all over the battlefield and does an incredible amount of damage. And of course, we talked earlier about Kruger. Kruger overall destroys the enemy's physical damage. So when you look, or the physical defense that they have, so when you look at Odie, when you look at Marley, when you look at Corinne, um, even when you look at Kruger, all of them are going to benefit from the defense down that we have of this hero right here. This is of course, with the levels that we have, the ability of to actually kill out that first boss. Now I have not tried this version of the boss, so I'm hoping it is gonna be and going to work well in here. And overall, you'll see if we have this aura up. Now I did put um, Smokey and Mirky right here in the front because there is a big, as you can see, AOE damage right there. I want the heroes in the aura. I want them to be able to be healed. And you see, there's the ads. This is where it's important making sure that we're taking down those ads because when the ads are up, the boss actually goes immune. And you can see we're going through the damage pretty quick. We have a new damage meter right over here. So we're at about three, seven, there's 400,000 damage. And when you're looking at these heroes as well, it's pretty basic with wh where I have them built. Even looking at Mar, um, Mar Lee, M Marley, Marley, maybe it's Marley. Um, in Corinne, overall, I have them at the very basic level, literally just the one single copy to unlock. So once we do build them out a little bit further, and you can see even there with Smokey, not really enough healing to go around. And I'm also wondering if I switch on my artifact. Now, of course, within this, you do get multiple attempts. So it's really cool to look in here and see exactly the damage they're doing. Right here, Corinne not doing a ton. So that makes me wonder, again, kind of based on the builds that I have in here, this one, I'm gonna drop out Corinne, and the reason is that was our lowest damage. So I'm gonna drop Corinne out. I'm gonna put Cecilia in here, and maybe Cecilia is gonna do a lot, or Cecilia is going to do a lot more damage in here. And of course, she does have the ability to summon the beast, which of course is gonna be the AoE with the damage, essentially that that the um that her little pet does do. And there it is, guys, boom. So the pet pops up, entangles all of them, burns them down right back to the damage. And I feel like this might be a personal best just because Cecilia can do so much damage um, in a very, very quick manner. And then Mer Merrily, again, I, I think it's Merrily, but again, we get rocked right there. So we're not gonna beat our top damage in there, especially not just with Odie. So let's swap it up and try it again. And I really challenge you guys, when you're coming into this game mode, you do get so many, you can see the results are in 22 hours. So I do usually three to four attempts. After I do those three to four attempts, and again, here, we're gonna go ahead and switch this one out. But after I do my three to four attempts, then I come in here or I go through actually the whole entire day till it gets to about the last one or two hours. Once we're at that final one or two hours, then I go in here because throughout the entire day, so essentially over the next 22 hours, 
I might have the ability to get um, Corinne a little bit higher. On um, Lee, I might be able to build up a little bit higher. I might be able to produce a lot more damage just by gaining levels on all of these heroes. And I also think if I did some swapping with the Resonating Crystal, a couple different ways, we could probably make this work a little bit better. And I'm hoping again, total damage looking here. And I might have to drop another hero. I might have to put Kruger up front. But again, I don't know if having Kruger up front that we're gonna have the ability to actually reach everyone uh, with Smokey. Let me try it just one more time and this will be it for today. So again, let me swap this one. I'm gonna put Kruger right up front because he is kind of the, the next one in line that I have built up pretty high. And I really feel like the healing, um, the healing artifact is what we needed in here. And see, they're still getting the heals right there which it kind of looks like it. I don't know if they actually are. There we go. So the aura is a little bit bigger here. We can see the heal going up on there now. Okay, so we lost Kruger early. So again, this is gonna be kind of, of a, a wash in here. And also just like we do with most of the videos, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna do the summons right at the end. And again, that could be super beneficial to getting a couple more copies of these heroes, really making a big difference, but Corinne, um, merely definitely two heroes to focus on for this game mode. And of course, there are a couple of formations that a lot of players are running the Celestial and the Hypo heroes in here. But of course, we have to hit those 400 summons first before we can even think of that. So again, total damage, a little bit lower in here. It seems like Smokey might need to be up front, but I'm also gonna have to build them out a little bit further just to absorb some more of the damage. But we're in the top 15. You know what, as a free to play player, you have to set the expectation of where we are. Let's hop in here and do all of those summons, guys. And I saved some from yesterday. Now, of course, this just starts day three. We just got the reset right now. So I'm gonna go in here. We have 32 of these um, of these envelopes and of course, 3,400 diamonds. We have 34 more. So we're gonna be able to get another SS hero. Open for a couple different ones in here. And of course, looking at kind of the build of a lot of different ones. Um, we have quite a few in here. We have quite a few now, of course, we want a couple more copies right here. I'm gonna swap up some of these. I'm gonna take Mariel out of here. We're gonna put uh, Corinne in there, again, because of that. And I'm gonna put Valen out. I'm gonna put Marley in there and then see exactly what heroes, and I'm starting to learn their names. If you've noticed, um, I've actually started to learn quite a few of their names, which is good. So I'm gonna go in here and honestly, we still need to get Thorin. We are still looking to get a copy of Thorin. That would be just phenomenal to finally get a copy of Thorin. Let's go ahead, skip through these summons, see if we can get, and there we go, a couple more purple. So there we go. So we got, I believe that's Valen. I, I think we just swapped them out. Did we not save it? I've done it before, exactly. So there is Corinne, there is Marley. There we go, let's put him in, save. Again, I did that last time where we didn't save it. So the rest of these, I'm pretty good, good, good. And that could have been, again, another copy right there. We have our tank, we have Rowan. Of course, we can't get Vela. Um, overall, we could get a copy of Brutus. You know what? I'm gonna swap to a copy of Brutus. I'm just thinking kind of that substitution for the tank. The looking in here, again, we're using Breon pretty well. Um, Iran is working incredibly well. And of course, both of those. So let's go ahead and save this. How does it look? So we got two, we got Brutus in there. All right, a couple more summons. Let's see if we can pull some more purples in here. Anytime we can get some extra copies of these, especially because they are so basic. There's another two. So who'd we get? Kruger and Arden, again, two that we don't really need. But come on, where is our another copy of Kruger? Again, a couple more of those. A couple more diamonds, maybe. And of course, this is gonna be another copy of Smokey. We got a copy of OD. So unfortunately, not really the ones. 200 right there. Now we're trying to, of course, get to that 400. I don't believe we have enough for another summon, which we do not. Want to make sure, guys, that you're always doing the 10 summons. The 10 summons are going to be cheaper. The epic, same thing in here. Let's see. I'm kind of thinking, who do we need? So Granny's in there. Yeah, Atlanta, I don't see. I'm going to swap this hero in there. And again, we want Thorn. We want Sia. I'm going to take out Brion. There we go. This, this might be good. And again, we could use Brutus in there as well. But I'm hoping, what do we got, 19 more to go. We only have seven in here, so we can't do the 10. That's okay. We'll be seven closer, and maybe we'll get lucky with the pull in here with our single envelopes. Which, there we go, guys. 
Boom, we got it. And look, it is the um, support hero. So that is Hugh, Hugh, Hewin, Hewin. I would go with Hewin on that one. We got pretty lucky with the pull there. Of course, we got some Omni Unicorn or the Omni Acorns. There is Silvana. Still, I'm hoping for one. So it looks like we skipped the animation a couple times, which we did. Another acorn. Come on. Can we get one more out of here? And that is it. So not enough. That's okay, guys, because we got a lot of really, really solid heroes in there. Now, of course, those are going to convert into our recruitment store. This one we're saving. You can see the acorns are down here. And I'm not sure at some point if we get the ability to get the Stargazer ones in here. But I'm almost thinking of picking up a couple of these. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm thinking of picking up a couple of these just to get some of those S heroes. Picking up some more of those soul stones. I believe I already have uh, 45 of them. So we are pretty close. I don't know if the recruitment letter is going to be worth it or if I just save them for the acorns. That's a really good question. Guild store, of course, celestials and the hypos are all that we're saving. But remember, this daily one is much cheaper. And then, of course, the arena. Still building out this. We're pretty close for the arena, but the dream store, like I was saying, I'm going to pick up some copies of Corinne down here, which is right. I believe he is in here right here. That, that is the ones that we're going to look for. So as soon as we get those, I'm going to pick up some more copies out of there. I did pick up some more copies of Odie as well out of there, which is awesome. So we are absolutely getting there. And then, of course, Mystic Collection. We unlocked quite a bit more in here, which you can see both of these. Um, right there, AFK Daily EXP goes up. This one, of course, Recruitment Store offers acorns. Stargazer Station is unlocked. Yeah. We still need 190, guys. And Stellar Crystals are available in the Recruitment Store. So they are available in there. That's what I thought. So Stellar Crystals, and that's what they are called, guys. Stellar Crystals will be available in here. But all right, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.